For the first time in decades, Boeing's dominance is under real threat. China has the C919, Russia has the MC21, and airlines are finally paying attention. But instead of going public, Boeing is moving in silence, working on a new aircraft designed to replace the 737 MAX and retake the narrow-body market. Insiders claim it could outperform not only China's and Russia's jets, but even Airbus's A320. So, what is Boeing secretly building? Why could it change aviation forever? Let's take a closer look. Boeing may have its biggest opportunity in half a century. While the industry is focused on certification delays and product limitations, the company has quietly made a move that has surprised analysts, appointing a veteran product leader with a long history of launching revolutionary aircraft. And that timing is no coincidence. According to reports from the Wall Street Journal, Boeing has begun initial design work on an entirely new narrow-body aircraft, its first serious attempt to move beyond the aircraft platform. Discussions with major engine manufacturers are reportedly underway, suggesting this is no longer just a theoretical exercise. Initially, many dismissed these reports as speculation, but recent developments have gradually reinforced their credibility. This raises a crucial question. Why would Boeing launch a completely new aircraft at this time? while the 737 MAX 7 and MAX 10 are still mired in regulatory uncertainty. The answer lies in the limitations of the aircraft itself. Despite decades of upgrades, its core airframe architecture dates back to the 1960s, a design increasingly incompatible with modern efficiency, safety, and aerodynamic requirements. Attempts to extend the lifespan of that aging platform led to risky compromises culminating in the MCAS system and two catastrophic crashes that killed 346 people, crippled entire fleets worldwide, and severely damaged Boeing's reputation. Even after the MAX returned to service confidence has not been fully restored. In early 2024, a mid-air door latch failure on an Alaska Airlines flight exposed serious quality shortcomings, leading to production cuts, loss of self-certification, and renewed criminal investigation by the U.S. Department of Justice. Simultaneously, Boeing's competitive position continued to weaken. Airbus accelerated with the A320neo, while China's C919 and Russia's MC21 began closing the gap. The narrow-body aircraft market was no longer a parallel market, and analysts warned that without a reliable new aircraft, Boeing risked losing market share permanently. In this context, Boeing's quiet new aircraft program wasn't a bold experiment, but a survival strategy. A completely new design could take a decade and cost billions of dollars, but clinging to the 737 line would be far more expensive. For Boeing to maintain its position, it needed more than just a new aircraft. They needed a rebuilding a signal to the world that the company was capable of building the future once again. If this analysis is useful, hit like, subscribe, and turn on the bell so you don't miss what comes next. What is Boeing hiding behind closed doors? And could this secret project reshape the future of the narrow-body aircraft market, the aircraft being quietly developed to replace the 7? 37 MAX is not just a new plane, but also Boeing's attempt to rebuild trust after a decade of crisis. According to internal sources, the transformation begins where pilots interact most, the cockpit. A completely redesigned cockpit signals a complete break with the 1960s philosophy that has haunted the company for years. But the real breakthrough may lie beneath the wings. To challenge Airbus's dominant A320 Neo Boeing needs a significant leap in fuel efficiency. That's why, in early 2024, senior executives reportedly held secret talks with Rolls-Royce in the UK. What was the goal? A new propulsion concept powerful enough to reshape the narrow-body aircraft segment. Could this ultimately bring ultrafan-based technology to narrow-body aircraft? and shift the balance of the global aviation industry, the design changes are far more far-reaching. Furthermore, 
A lesson Boeing cannot ignore is the low ground clearance of the plane, a limitation that led to years of compromise. This time, the landing gear will be higher, stronger, and capable of meeting future demands, allowing for larger engines, better aerodynamics, and greater stability in demanding operations. It's a quiet but decisive shift. Even the biggest secret weapon Boeing plans to deploy composite materials. Decades of experience have helped the company reduce weight without sacrificing strength or comfort, exactly what airlines are now demanding. The result could be an aircraft that not only competes, but redefines expectations. This is not simply a comeback. Boeing declares that it is ready to begin a new era and fight to reclaim their leadership. Beyond its groundbreaking technologies, the aircraft Boeing is shaping represents a fundamental rethinking of what a narrow-body aircraft can do. Unlike the 737, which has been repeatedly modified to accommodate new engines and regulations, this design begins without any constraints from the past. The airframe is expected to be wider, cleaner, and more aerodynamically efficient, giving engineers unprecedented freedom. It allows Boeing to optimize everything simultaneously. Engines, wings, systems, and structure, instead of forcing solutions into an airframe conceived over half a century ago. The wings themselves will likely play a key role with a longer, thinner design that folds at the wingtips reducing drag while maximizing efficiency on both short and medium haul routes. Combined with a higher stance and redesigned landing gear, the aircraft could ultimately integrate future generations of engines without compromise. So why is that important? Because it means the jet isn't just built for current technology, but designed for evolution. Inside the cabin, the changes could also be impressive. A rebalanced fuselage and smarter structural layout will allow for wider aisles, larger overhead cargo space, and a smoother flight addressing long-standing complaints from both passengers and airlines. For pilots, the next-generation cockpit will emphasize assistive automation rather than override restoring confidence in Boeing's engineering philosophy. For airlines, the promise is simple, yet powerful, less fuel consumption, lower maintenance costs, and greater operational flexibility. Overall, these choices suggest something bigger than just a new aircraft model. They show Boeing is trying to break free from the compromises that shaped the 737 era. This new model isn't a patch or an expansion. It's designed to be a platform, a platform that could be the cornerstone of Boeing's narrow-body aircraft strategy for decades. This could be the most costly and worrisome decision Boeing has ever made. While the idea of completely replacing the fleet sounds promising, it has encountered a host of difficult constraints. Industry analysts are watching closely, because whether this aircraft will ever take flight depends on a few thorny questions. First, can Boeing afford it? Launching a completely new aircraft typically requires tens of billions of dollars and more than a decade of development. That burden comes at the worst possible time. Boeing is still suffering massive losses from the 737. Max crashes recovering from a series of quality and operational failures under intense financial pressure. Every dollar spent on a new aircraft is a dollar not being used to stabilize the current situation. Then there's the technology and the risk. To truly compete with the Airbus A320B Neo Boeing must achieve a breakthrough in fuel efficiency. That ambition explains the reported secret talks with Rolls-Royce in early 2024, but betting on a new engine architecture potentially developed from ultra-fan technology is a risky gamble. Unproven propulsion systems often lead to cost overruns, delays, and certification problems. Is Boeing willing to take that risk again? However, what truly sets this program apart is regulation. Following the 737, MAX tragedy, and the 787 production issues, the Federal Aviation Administration is no longer tolerant. Boeing's self-certification capabilities have been severely limited, and a completely new aircraft design would face the most intense scrutiny ever from the agency. 
every design choice, every test, every process must be subject to unprecedented scrutiny. And above all, the Department of Justice. With an ongoing investigation into Boeing's 2021 Deferred Action for Prosecution Agreement, any disruption or even the appearance of a disruption could lead to serious legal consequences. This forces Boeing to do something far more difficult than designing a new aircraft fundamentally alter its internal culture under intense competitive pressure. Finally, there's the market. Boeing engineers are currently overworked trying to clear a backlog of nearly 6,000 outfoded aircraft while simultaneously certifying delayed models such as the MAX 7, MAX 10, and 777 9 The redeployment of talent and investment risks is causing further delays and further testing the patience of airlines. Airlines want efficiency, but they worry about uncertainty. Can they trust a brand new Boeing aircraft when the proven A320 Nino is already available? That's the real challenge. Boeing not only has to prove that the aircraft can be better, but also that it can be built certified and delivered without repeating past mistakes. Because in this race, failure doesn't just delay a program. It can shape the company's future. Despite the risks, the potential market explains why Boeing is willing to take the plunge. Narrow-body aircraft are the backbone of the global aviation industry, serving the vast majority of routes and generating the most consistent profits for airlines. Over the next two decades, demand for narrow-body aircraft is projected to reach tens of thousands as older fleets are retired and air travel continues to grow. This is no small opportunity. It's the biggest prize in commercial aviation. So the real question is, can Boeing afford not to compete? Airlines are facing rising fuel costs, increasingly stringent emissions regulations, and growing pressure to improve operational efficiency. A next-generation narrow-body aircraft, even with only a slight improvement in fuel consumption, could save airlines millions of dollars per aircraft over its lifespan. This makes the need for a completely new design very real, especially for airlines operating large aging fleets of early A320s and 737NGs. But timing is everything. If Boeing waits too long, alternative decisions will have already been made. There's also a strategic aspect. Airbus's production lines are currently overloaded, and the number of available seats is increasingly scarce. For some airlines, a reliable alternative from Boeing may be the only way to secure capacity growth in the 2030s. At the same time, emerging competitors from China and Russia are precisely targeting this segment, hoping to attract domestic customers and those with similar political views. Losing market share here means not only reduced sales, but also a loss of influence over the future of the global aviation industry. That's why this aircraft isn't just about revenue. It's about significant implications. If Boeing succeeds, it'll regain a foothold in the industry's most valuable market. If they fail or hesitate, the consequences could last for decades. The narrow-body aircraft market doesn't wait, and this may be Boeing's last real chance to re-enter the race on a level playing field. So are you eagerly awaiting the arrival of this new aircraft? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for staying until the end. Goodbye and see you again.